Welcome back. NCBA takes great pride in being the premier source of producer education. And this is especially evident each year at Cattlemen's College. Cattlemen to Cattlemen reporter Brad Bulla has more on one class that examines some of the challenges young producers face when establishing their own identity in the beef industry. Sometimes the road back to the cattle business and the family ranch isn't a straight one. That's the message Dan McCarty shared at the Cattlemen's College session called Finding a Way Back to the Ranch. The great thing about our business is everybody has a pretty unique story about how they got to where they are today. Uh, I was able to just share my story about what we do uh, and how we slowly have built it over time. Dan grew up with the intention of one day rejoining his family's cattle business, but his career path took some detours. As a result, Dan ended up building his own operation, McCarty Cattle Company, while at the same time serving as Director of Industry and Affiliate Outreach for NCBA. I'm not exactly what you would call a, a full-time rancher or a traditional rancher. Uh, I think I'm similar to a lot of people in my generation uh, in that because of that. So I have a full-time career and then another full-time career back at the ranch. Sure, I wanted to be running a couple thousand cows, but uh, that's not what life has presented to us. But we were able to take, uh, identify our passions, take the opportunities we were given, and go, go find those things. Getting started in the cattle business can be difficult. Dan says he and many others in his generation were discouraged from getting into production agriculture by cattlemen and women who lived through the farm crisis of the 1980s and knew the business could be challenging. But Dan and many of his peers decided to follow their hearts. So those of us that are actually in production agriculture now would probably be considered rebels because we did the exact opposite of what our parents and all the people around us told us to do. But we figured out that was our passion uh, and we're here. What was so impressive to me is um, how they are being so creative in the ways that they are finding their way uh, back to their passion, back to what they have grown up to love about their, their business. And so they're, um, they're collaborating and partnering and getting creative about uh, cow lease arrangements and doing uh, a lot of off-farm work to fund their uh, cow-calf enterprises in this case and so I really appreciate the creativity that um, this generation is bringing to their journey back to the family operations. For Dan McCarty, getting creative meant that instead of taking over his family's operation, he ended up needing to start his own and he did so while owning no land. So he sought out leasing opportunities to find a place to run his cattle. Sometimes uh, all you really have to go do is ask. Uh, you're going to get told no. Being told no is a definite learning experience, but you're never going to get told yes if you don't go ask. Both Dan and his wife work off the ranch to diversify their income opportunities beyond their cattle business. One key point Dan emphasized with the Cattlemen's College audience was the need to be flexible in setting and reaching your goals. I think it's very important that we all have the big picture in our mind of where we want to go. But I think sometimes we get a little too stuck in that picture. Uh, and life happens and changes happen and you kind of have to roll with the punches. You constantly have to make adjustments uh, and some recalibrations to figure out where you're going and where you've been uh, and what actions you need to take to get where you want to be. Uh, but that's all part of life, just rolling with the punches. So you, you got to be pretty flexible when it comes to those plans. Dan says young producers need to take some risks while also being realistic. And he says it's a good idea to get involved, network with others in the cattle business, and build your own informal board of directors, a core group of people you can trust who will give you sound advice. And even though getting back into the ranching business may not be a straight line, he says the effort to get there is worth it. I see great opportunities and potential for people getting involved in production agriculture right now. Uh, we have a world economy that is growing. People are hungry. They want our product. Uh, we're the best in the world at producing it. The opportunity is out there. Uh, you just have to be a f uh, not afraid to go out there and find it. Reporting from Cattlemen's College, I'm Brad Bullifort, NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.